Yo, what's going on lads, Viper here, and uh, bringing you guys another tutorial today, and it's going to be a good one lads. Uh, finally, we've got 3D motion tracking tools and capabilities in After Effects, so this is going to be a CS6 tutorial, you need to have CS6 in order to be able to do this effect, but it's going to be a uh, sick effect lads, a sick tutorial, so a rating would be much appreciated up down, don't really give a shit, but anyway, so let's get into this, it's better than the old standard method of... Uh, you know, if you saw my old tutorial, you know, getting the clip, putting it into After Effects, splitting into different formats, putting it into Beaujou, going back to Cinema 40, putting it back into After Effects. It's just painstakingly retarded and I hate it and half the time it doesn't even work. So, this is actually even more accurate than doing that and uh, it's just awesome. So, I was playing a bit around with it last night and here's what I came up with. There's some 3D text motion tracked to the uh, cinematic. And one quick, uh, one quick thing before you get into it, lads. Over here, got my CC pack. I've only got one in here right now, but I've got loads more made. Just didn't want to give anything away to you guys uh, as to how much is actually going to be in. But I'd say there's going to be about 20 color corrections in the pack that'll be coming out at 1.5k or 1.4k. I don't really know. Maybe if this get video gets a uh, good enough response, I'll release it sooner. But uh, yeah, that's uh, to expect from that, guys. I'm going to have a CC pack coming out very shortly. So anyway, let's just get into this new project. Don't save it, don't need to. Okay, I'm gonna get my cinematic, bring it in here, and make a new comp. So, I have a comp right here, I'm just gonna trim it down because at the start here is a bit of blackness, and I'm gonna cut it at the end. Okay, so we've got our uh, we've got our composition and our cinematic in the comp. We don't like you want to have the cinematic that you're tracking in its own comp, you always want to do that because. Um, Basically, it's just a lot tidier, a lot less messy than uh, having it in the main comp with like loads of clips down your screen, and then it's hard, it's hard to find everything. And my dog's barking again every single time I do tutorial. She starts barking for Christ's sake. But anyway, what we want to do is we want to go to composition, composition settings, and go to advanced. Now I have it on. Uh, normally, it'll be set to classic 3D. You want to put that to ray trace 3D, and that will enable you to have. 3D text. You don't need 3D text, obviously. Personally, I think uh, 3D text makes it look a bit shite. But uh, you, if you want 3D text, that's what you do. Click OK. Now right click, and you want to click Track Camera. So if you've used Beaujou before, you know what it's doing now. It's analyzing the background, which basically means if you've uh, used Beaujou, it's making those yellow and red dotted lines. And uh, what's going to do on step two is solve the camera, in which it will. Pretty much the equivalent of Beaujou making those blue and yellow points. So I'm just going to leave it sit here for a while and uh, I'll be back when it's done. Okay, we're on step two now, solving the camera. So it's basically making the blue and yellow points. And here we go. So what you're going to see is you're just going to see these points all tracked into your footage. And it's pretty much the equivalent to the blue and yellow points in Beaujou. So what we're going to do is we're going to select some points that we want to track to. So let's say you want to put something on the wall. You're not going to use this one, right? Because it's not the the way the wall is facing. You know, you want a point that's parallel to the wall. So you can see this target. That's what's going to help you. So let's just find one here. You see now that one. Like I can't really find a perfect one, but you'd want to find one that's pretty much parallel. Like that one, that would work fine. You just need to adjust the text a little bit. But you want to find one that's pretty much uh, even to your surface that you're working on. See that one's there. That one is just perfect right now. So you'd want to use that. I'm going to be motion tracking the floor, so I'm going to go, hmm, yeah this point looks good, but uh, if you can't find a good point, what you can do is left click and circle multiple points, and that will make, you see that's even better, so what you want to do, right click on any of those points, and create solid, null, or text, whatever you want, you want to do, I'm just going to create a text, so you can see your text and our camera have been made right now, what we're going to do is go to rotation, and mess around with it a bit. So make it sort of control see that. So make it sort of uh, what you want it to be. So maybe maybe you want to change the anchor point a little bit as well, just to get it perfect. But uh, there's really no need in this case. So that's pretty much the text right there. I'm gonna scale it down. Just I'm gonna put this back a little bit. Just keep playing around with it until you have it right and. Uh, just it fits your personal preference so got my text right there and you can see 
it's just perfectly motion tracked and it's actually even it's actually even better than doing it the other with the other standard way so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to make it a uh, 3D so you can see it's just 2D and I actually think that looks a bit nicer but uh, some people want to do 3D so you just drop down your text and go to geometry options and go to extrusion depth so with the extrusion depth you can pretty much to make it deeper and thicker and stuff so that's uh, that's what the extrusion depth does and that's how you make it 3D so you can see it doesn't look very nice but I'm going to be doing a separate tutorial on how to make uh, your text look a bit nicer uh, you can use lights and stuff like that if you have a basic knowledge of After Effects you can just uh, you can do it yourself just use night lights and stuff but um that's pretty much it for the tutorial lads if you'd like to uh, if you'd like to see the text tutorial that will be coming out shortly make sure you hit the subscribe button above and uh, the like button below so anyway lads thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you in the next tutorial